Hello, good morning everyone. I am Rosine Emily Caforte of Pilar P. Rodriguez Integrated School. How are you? Great! It's good to hear that you are safe and okay. Today, we are going to have our lesson. I want you to listen and eyes on teacher. Very good. Are you ready? Great! Come on, let's go! All right, for today, our lesson is based on the MELP's competency, describe the appearance and uses of homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixtures. For our objectives, first, differentiate homogeneous from heterogeneous mixtures. Number two, demonstrate how homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures are formed. And number three, appreciate the importance of homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. All right, now before we start with our proper lesson, everyone, you listen to our class rules. First, observe cleanliness and orderliness in handling different substances. Do not taste or eat it because this might not be clean. And please be honest and time conscious in doing the activities. All right? Very good. This time, let's check what you have learned from our lesson yesterday. Okay? I hope you studied your lesson. Okay, first question. What is mixture? It is chemically combined. Oops. Try again. You can do it this time. Come on. Again. What is mixture? Yes, it is a combination of two or more physically combined substances. Very good. You got it right. Number two. Which is an example of mixture? Very good. Halo, halo. Two points. Okay, the last question. What are the different kinds of mixture? Very good. Correct again. Homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures are the two types of mixture. Well done, kids. Very good. It seems that you studied your lesson. Now this time, let's prepare for our first activity. Are you all ready with your materials? Come on, get ready of these and again, practice cleanliness and orderliness in handling the, the materials and you should be honest and time conscious. Okay, so for our first activity, prepare two glasses of water, rice grains, and salt. Again, do not taste this or eat this one because this might not be clean. Okay, for our first setup, in the first glass of water, add some rice grains. Mix it and absorb. 
observe what happened. What is the appearance of this mixture? Then for our second setup, add salt. Then try to mix it. Mix it thoroughly. Then observe the appearance of this mixture. Okay, for now, can I ask you your answers? Okay, come on, let's start with our first setup. The mixture of water and rice grains. What is the appearance of this? Yes, it is not uniform. The appearance is not uniform. You can see the rice grains and the water. How about the second setup? Ooh, this has uniform appearance. You cannot see the salt, only the water, right? Yes, great observations, class. Very good. Do you want to explore more? Come on, let's have this activity. It's mix and tell. All right. Now in this activity, you need sugar. But again, do not try to taste it. It might not be clean. Sugar, chocolate powder, peanuts and corn, three setup of water, and oil. For our first procedure, add sugar to the water. Sit it again. Then put it aside. Observe what happened. Next is add this chocolate powder in this water. Stir it too. Observe their appearance. of water, you add oil. Ooh. Stir it. And then again, observe the appearance. What happened to this mixture? And finally, mix peanut with corn. Then, shake, shake it, observe the appearance. All right, so the different setup, this is setup one or setup A. This is setup B, setup C. D. All right. Now, I want you to classify these setups as to what's the appearance? Does it have 
uniform appearance or without uniform appearance. Alright, I'm so excited to see your answers. Come on, again, you have to be honest and observe time consciousness. Okay, let's find out what's your answers. <laughs> 